everybody. Fantasy Friday is finally here and Princess Jay here once again. Uh, so today's Fantasy Friday, we're going to keep on going with the whole Avengers family since, you know, Fate Awards is coming at the end of the month and I'm super excited. So last week we covered Thor and this week we're going to be covering Captain America. Yes, he is gorgeous and he's gorgeous. Other than Thor, basically. Anyways, moving on. So, <laughs> Captain America, he was created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby in 1941. Um, and he's a superhero that fought during the World War II era. You know, Hell Hydra type situation, Nazis, everything. Oh my gosh, my mic. Crazy. So, I'm like, so excited. Um, so, he fought during that era. And he has some really awesome abilities before, you know, little scrawny Steve Rogers. Then he transformed with like the super serum. And his abilities include um, P. Cooper peak human strength, <laughs> speed durability, agility, reflexes, well, reflex senses. So he has like really awesome reflexes. Um, mental possession. Don't know what that is, but sure. Never seen them before, but that's really cool. Um, master martial arts, skilled in hand-to-hand -hand combat, um, alternate healing, um, which means he can heal pretty quickly, but that doesn't mean he's not immortal, but he can just heal. He, he can heal really, really quickly. Um, he's an expert tactic tactinist so like he can do tactics very well strategist and a field commander and he also wields vibranium shield which we'll get into that uh, you know a little bit later but yeah he has a shield america has a shield which is awesome so he is the first marvel character to appear um in like social media outside of comic books so because because of that i guess the what the creators wanted to do is that they wanted to how do I say it? They want him to be like the center of like everything. I don't know if they did it on purpose or because they wanted to like do like a hooray to war type of situation because in like 19, like 1944, that's when World War II happened. Like real World War II happened. So like America was like going through some stuff. So maybe they were doing it to like, you know, do like a hooray to America or something. But we'll see. Maybe that what it, that's what it was. Sorry, my computer decided to lock on me. There we go. So maybe that's like my idea that they did it on purpose. So he was like the new picture of America and like, hooray. So it he seems pretty, pretty cool. So we're going to go to like a few facts about Captain America. You A few unknown facts that people may not know. So the first one is Captain America was well captain america the first avenger movie is the fifth remake live action movie that has been done you know before so this is this is not this is this hasn't been the first one it's been the fifth one actually and three different movies have been released one was in 1944 um and two released in um 1979 and one was released in theaters in 1990 so the ones in 1979 and the one and the two in 1979 and the one in 1944 those were both those, all three of those were TV film releases only. The the only one that was released to theaters for sure was the 1990 version. So I think that was actually pretty, pretty awesome. So um, the fact number two, even though the movie Captain, Aven uh, Captain America, the first Avenger is a good title for the fit of the whole, you know, Marvel stuff. Uh, if you want to be accurate, he was not the first Avenger. He was actually the fifth Avenger um, added to the roster and he is behind um, Ant-Man, Wasp, Captain America, I'm um, not Captain America, um, Ant-Man, Wasp, Thor, and Hulk. Ant-Man, no wait, hold on. Ant-Man, Wasp, Hulk, Iron Man, and Thor. There you go. Um, he was actually added to the Avengers roster after Hulk left. So people are like, oh wait, he's not the first Avenger? No, he's the fifth Avenger. So they should have been, uh, the movie should have been Captain America, the fifth Avenger, not the first. But it's not, I didn't do that. I'm not making the movie. That's that was them. <laughs> so, um, so Captain America um, wields, like I said, a vibranium shield. Now, comic book wise, the shield is made a, made out of both vibranium and antimanium, um, which which means that the shield is practically invincible. But since lovely Sentry Fox at the time of the movie owned the rights to Vibranium because, you know, Wolverine and X-Men, they can't, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe could not use, you know, Marvel Studios cannot use Antimanium. So they had to make the shield out of Vibranium, which if you really think about it, Vibranium absorbs vibration while Antimanium practically makes anything invincible. So 
if we think about reality, the vibranium doesn't do anything. It's just like a piece of flexible thing. It shouldn't do as much impact as it does, but because of the rights that Fox has, um, they can't really do anything about the antimanium. So they just decided to make the whole entire shield vibranium and make it invincible there. <laughs> Which is actually pretty ironic. Um, but anyways, that's those are the fun facts about Captain America. Hope you guys enjoyed the little fun fact, little Fantasy Friday. Be sure to check out the little bell on the bottom, get notifications on my videos. Be sure to check out Magic Monday that comes out this um, next week, Wacky Wednesday, and all my other videos and posts on Instagram. Follow me on everything you can possibly follow me on. And be sure to check me out every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for all my other videos. Alrighty, hope you guys have a nice weekend and see you guys next time. Bye!